Hi, welcome to Professional Certifications Channel. Let's break down CPHU exam prep, one topic a day for focused and effective learning. Today's topic is Six Sigma. Six Sigma. Six Sigma, initially developed by Motorola in the 1980s, is a systematic, data-driven approach aimed at achieving near-perfect results in any process. Its goal is to enhance performance and reduce variability, leading to fewer defects and higher efficiency. Definition Six Sigma is a data-driven approach and methodology for eliminating defects in any process, from manufacturing to transactional and from product to service. It focuses on identifying and rectifying the causes of defects, minimizing variability in business processes, and improving overall quality. Details 1. DMAIC Methodology The foundational methodology behind Six Sigma is DMAIC, which stands for Define, identify the problem, set the scope, and determine the objectives for the Six Sigma project. It also involves defining customer requirements and expectations. Measure. Collect relevant data concerning the current process and performance levels. Establish baselines and gather information on potential factors influencing the process. Analyze. Delve deep into the data to determine root causes of defects or inefficiencies in the process. Use statistical tools to identify patterns, relationships, or anomalies. Improve. Develop and implement solutions to address the root causes of issues identified. This might involve redesigning a process, changing a supplier, or introducing new technologies. Control, monitor, and maintain the improved process to ensure that defects remain at the desired levels. Implement controls, like monitoring systems or training programs, to ensure the process continues to work effectively. 2. Statistical Significance Six Sigma places a strong emphasis on making decisions based on quantifiable data. Statistical tools such as control charts, regression analysis, and hypothesis testing are frequently used. 3. Belts and Training Six Sigma adopts a martial arts-themed classification for its training programs. Practitioners can achieve different belt levels, such as green belt, black belt, and master black belt, each indicating a different level of expertise and responsibility within the Six Sigma framework. 4. Lean Six Sigma. In many instances, Six Sigma is combined with lean methodologies, resulting in Lean Six Sigma. While Six Sigma focuses on reducing variability and improving quality, Lean aims to eliminate waste and improve process flow. 5. Defect Metrics. The primary metric used in Six Sigma is the defect rate. A Six Sigma process is one that achieves a level of 3.4 defects per million opportunities, DPMO, implying a highly efficient and nearly defect-free process. Conclusion, Six Sigma is more than just a methodology, it's a mindset. Organizations that adopt Six Sigma are committed to continuous improvement and hold themselves to the highest standards of quality. By using data to inform decisions and a structured approach to process improvement, Six Sigma practitioners can drive significant value for their organizations, leading to enhanced operational efficiency, higher customer satisfaction, and increased profitability. If you found this content informative, please like, share, and subscribe.